NXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2021, Question 6. Figure 1 shows a sketch of triangle ABC. Given that the vector AB equals minus 3i minus 4j minus 5k, and the vector BC equals i plus j plus 4k, we need to find the vector AC. So our vector addition is just that AC is equal to AB plus BC. So putting these in, we get minus 3i minus 4j minus 5k plus i plus j plus 4k, bringing together the like letters. So for example, minus 3i plus i is minus 2i, minus 4j plus j is minus 3j, and so on. We get that AC is equal to minus 2i minus 3j minus k. For part b, we need to show that cos ABC equals 9 tenths. We're going to use the cosine rule here, so we need the lengths of the individual sides. So the length of AC is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the i, j and k components of the vector. Note that I've put positive 2, 3 and 1 into here rather than the negatives of AC, but the square of a negative is exactly the same as the square of a positive, so we've got the same thing. So the length of AC is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 1 squared, so root 14. The length of AB is the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared, which is root 50. And by the same idea, the length of BC is equal to root 18. We're now going to use the cosine rule. We've got to be careful which way round we put the sides now, but we're looking for angle ABC. So if we look at the triangle, the side opposite this is AC. So this is the side that's going to go on the left of our cosine equation. So the length of AC squared is 14. That's equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides minus 2 times the product of the lengths of AB times BC times cos ABC. Rearranging this, we get that cos ABC is equal to 54 over 2 root 50 root 18, which is equal to 9 tenths as required. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.